Hi, it's Keith Peterson again from the Early T. Peterson Company in Westfield, New Jersey. This is my brother, Doug. Hi, how are you? We're here today to show you the Walker Rider Mower. This is our preeminent power product for commercial landscaping use. It is a machine that produces very, very high results cosmetically. It's a very fast, very easy to use product, very easy to work on, and it is machine of choice. We're going to give you a quick preview of the Walker lawnmower and it's all its abilities as it historically has been as a GHS and a bagging mower that manicures properties and does so many different things. And at the end, we're going to give you a quick preview of the introduction of the 48 mulching deck, which has become very, very important part of the Walker line. I'll give you a little history on this product. We took this line on in 1990. We've been with it for 25 years and since its inception, or the inception of our taking this product on, this mower has been our biggest selling landscape contractor mowing unit. Still is. Frankly, it put us on the map as far as landscape contractor business is concerned. I'll go over some details on this mower. The key thing with it is efficiency. The most important concept with Walker, Walker has developed what is called the Walker Advantage. Now that Walker Advantage is somewhat broad in its category. It has to do with the style of cutting deck. It has to do with the efficiency of the hopper or the bagging system. It has to do with the fact that this mower, because it is an out front lawn mower, will cut a property faster than other comparable lawn mowers in the industry, whether they be Z's or stand ons or walk behinds. The reason behind that is the design of the product. When you are sitting on a Walker lawnmower, you are sitting over the drive wheels. So you are right in the center of the product. The deck is out front. This deck will trim, cut, go under bushes, it goes under fences, it will cut 99% of the property without the addition of putting a walk behind, a small trim mower such as we have here, a weed whacker, this mower cuts the majority of the property by itself. Any other product in the industry is limited because the deck is either under you or the engine is up front. It can't penetrate into those closed trimming areas to do what it needs to do. So it does the basic mowing. They outline with a smaller piece of equipment and then in many cases there's substantial trimming required to finish the property properly. Now if you are bagging you have trimming on both sides, unique to this center discharge type of product. A walk behind unit will have a discharge opening here, a Z will have a discharge opening, and a stand on will have a discharge opening. If you desire to bag, you're going to have perhaps a four and a half bushel catcher. It's going to sit off to the side. It's going to increase the total width of the machine, sometimes as much as close to two feet. The Walker is a slim line design. It will close trim either way. All material is bagged into the center, goes into the hopper. Inside the hopper is a power fill. That's a, a electrically controlled grass discharge system. It fills the hopper, which is a 10 bushel. It fills that hopper completely. When a contractor is mowing grass on a customer's lawn, they get off this product much less than if they were using a standard discharge type of mower of any type. Some of these mowers have higher ground speeds, but the advantage is that Walker has proven in extensive testing that this product will cut your average size residential property faster than any other type of product because of its maneuverability, its out front deck design, the size of the hopper, and the fact that with the independent hydro controls, and a very short learning curve, I might say, as far as learning how to operate that, this mower will do the property quicker than units that actually cover ground, sometimes 30% faster. When you are done, you have bagged your grass. This hopper flips up, the back door opens, and 10 bushels of grass, which is two grass barrels, two 60-gallon tubs of grass. So the operator may cut the whole lawn, depending on the time of the year and the size of the property, the amount of grass, he may cut the whole lawn and only get off his machine when he's done. The high efficiency companies swing by the street, that hopper gets dumped, 
truckloader comes along, picks up the grass, all the operator does is pull over, dump, he's back mowing. In many cases, four and five machines running side by side. So they have proven, and many contractors have given us testimony, especially contractors that cut a lot of lawns, we couldn't do what we're doing without this machine because of its efficiency, its maneuverability, its ease of operation. From the front of the machine to the back, 20 some years of almost 30 years of design and innovation with a company that is very sensitive to input. The machine is constantly being changed and tweaked. So you got a great package as far as its mowing efficiency. In a moment, I'm gonna start this machine and move it out to show you a little bit about how these controls function and how they work. This control, the FSC, is the forward control lever. I gave you a little overview quickly on how you control this machine. When you push this forward motion lever forward, you are increasing ground speed from zero or neutral to the forward position. Your two center control levers now control the operation of the unit. You want to turn right, you pull back on the right lever. You want to turn left, pull back on the left lever. You want to reverse, as you pull these two levers back, you are decreasing ground speed. They will come into neutral, the machine will back up. Same principle in reverse. So one hand always remains on the FSC lever. The other hand is fingertip control. It's not like a Z where you have two big levers that come up and you're always gauging just where neutral is and where reverse is and it tends to be a little difficult to stay in a track. This machine is very easy to keep in a straight line because your controls when they're set here with a third wheel in the back, this machine tracks straight. Minor adjustments are made right here for your positioning. New operators we train, when you're done, pull this lever back. Now the machine is in neutral. If someone panics, they get into a situation, they're too close to a bush, they don't have to start fumbling with control levers trying to find where neutral is, which can get into an iffy situation. With the walker, you pull it back, goes into neutral, you stop. Now you reposition. So for owner operators or owners who want to train new operators, this machine has a short learning curve. They learn forward motion slow, controls here, however fast you want to go, that's controlled here. You want to go slowly in tight situations, you control it here. You want to increase your ground speed, push it forward. Now you're controlling from here. So a machine that will go around a telephone pole or a signpost or a bush and will trim around it, you can back out of tight areas. So it will go into areas that no other product will go because of the fact of those independently controlled hydrostatic controls. I'm now going to show you how easily the walker deck is maintained for blade changing, cleaning, any general maintenance. The one thing in this industry, Z-Masters, out fronts, walk behinds, regardless of who makes the unit, you've got to jack the front of that unit up somehow and crawl underneath to access the blades. With Walker, they have designed something here that makes it very simple. You pull the pivot pins on the sides, which release the tilt up. There's a locking latch here. There's a locking hook here and the handle, which makes it easy to get the deck up. Grab the handle, flip the deck up, pop it in, and you're underneath here to access your blades, cups, discharge, any cleaning or whatever's necessary under here. Walker mower cuts into itself. The blades are turning into each other because it's a center discharge. So these blades are timed. They're actually perpendicular to each other. So they cross the path of each other unlike belt-driven units where there are spaces in between the decks. For that reason, this mower does not leave mohawks very readily because you are always overlapping. So one blade is here, one blade is here. Cutting in, everything accessible, simple. Shear pins on the cups. If something contacts this blade or the operator contacts, these two pins are designed to shear. But it's literally a minute to get under here, clean it, Maintain it, change blades, it's very, very quick, very thoughtful, very well done maintenance item. I'm gonna show you a little bit about the grass handling system of the walker, we had talked about that already. The mower bags from the center of the rear of the deck. It comes up through a processing system, comes through a fan assembly, which we'll show you in a moment, comes into the hopper itself. 
You can see the size of this hopper. It has a door with a close fitting seal here. It has a dust guard for the operator built into the back door. No dust comes forward to get into the operator as they're mowing, especially important in dry conditions. The hopper opens. I'll show you a little bit about the power fill and the operation of it. We'll activate the unit. When the PTO lever is engaged, the power fill begins to move side by side, dispersing grass evenly throughout this hopper. When it's full, you're going to hear the bag alarm. You're going to hear the bag alarm deflect. That tells the operator this mower is full. When you hear that bag alarm, you know you stop mowing. Also, a removable screen. This screen slides out, critical in spring cutting. When the grass may be damp, you may build up a lot of pollen. This screen is easily removable, cleaned, and reinserted back into the hopper. To dump the hopper, the hopper is taken this way, either with a grass barrel or a dump tank, whatever way the, the operator is using it, and all the grass is out. Ten bushels full. Back, and he's back in operation. The door's shut. Flap to keep the dirt and the debris from going around the wheel and messing up the area where they're dumping. Let me go over a few things here as far as the product itself, ease of maintenance, serviceability, the design that's built into this unit. To get to anything that requires maintenance, cleaning, the hopper comes up. It's a cantilevered style design. The front body lifts forward. Everything that you need to access is right here. Any belt on this product can be changed without tools. You've got independent hydros. They're linked directly to cast iron gearboxes. They become part of the frame component. So the cast iron link to the bridge strengthens the body of this machine and makes it very, very strong as far as torquing and flexing. You've got everything here that you need to be attentive to. Your oil, your air cleaner, Donaldson double element air cleaner with an additional rotary pre-cleaner. Walker has done everything they can to ensure that this engine can be maintained and kept by the contractor, by his crews, at the end of the day, backpack blower in here, blow everything out. Anything needs to be changed, it can be changed quickly and efficiently. Here's the 10 and a half blower that we had discussed. This blower creates the vacuum to pull the debris through the deck tube or deck chute, transfers it up into the chute in the hopper, and that grass is dispersed evenly throughout the hopper. PTO, oils, engine oils, draining of oil underneath here can be done with a pan. So I tell Walker operators, has a lot of grease fittings, there's a lot in here, but it's not complicated to maintain, and if it's maintained properly, we find that this mower will give a contractor years of trouble-free service. I'd like to talk just one more time a little bit about this machine's capabilities as far as vacuuming and manicuring the lawn. We had discussed the 10 and a half inch blower. We had discussed the center discharge deck and the efficiency of the hopper system. What this does is this creates a very strong vacuum on the lawn. It takes all debris and material as you are cutting, processes it through the fan, chops it up to a degree, and puts it into the hopper. Some operators trim first, blow out tight areas, and then use the walker to remove all debris off the lawn. So when they leave, with that striped effect because of the third wheel and the vacuum effect of the blower and the deck design and the hopper, that property is what Walker calls a manicured lawn. And of course, when it comes to spring cleanups or fall cleanups, when we're dealing with leaves and debris, especially in the fall, windy days, areas where leaves have to be taken from the property, there's no other machine in the industry that will pull the leaves off the property quickly and efficiently put them into the hopper where they can be transferred either into another facility or whether they're going to be put at the street. However, the machine works very, very efficiently. So you've got a unit for mowing, for bagging, for picking up leaves, for debris cleanup that's unparalleled. We've covered most of the ground quickly as far as what the Walker mower does in its ability to vacuum and to manicure a property. Walker has come out and has had some attachments which are extremely valuable and very, very cost effective for the contractor. This is a mulching deck, a 48 mulching deck. 
It has proved to be a tremendously cost-effective tool for the contractors in our area. From late May to October, they install this deck onto their Walker lawnmower. No discharge, as you might notice. Patented airflow welded to the dust guards, trash guards, and gator style or atomic style blades with the ability here to process grass in its each cutting chamber. We've had for years 21 inch mulching mowers of all different types. Probably 99% of what we sell in residential mowers and even to commercial accounts are some combination of mulching. So people are mulching grass, they're used to mulching grass. The issue has been the cost of dumping grass for some contractors in some areas. If you're in an area like that, this deck goes, fits on your unit in five minutes. You still have your hopper attached. You still have the ability to any time to put a GHS deck back on. But with the cost of dumping grass, which is roughly in our area, about $16 per hopper, you are now returning all the grass into the lawn. Our contractors have told us about an hour to an hour and a half savings at the end of the day utilizing this deck because the operator, even with double cutting and a little bit of blowing of any issues that they see on the property, this deck still saves an operator between an hour and an hour and a half at the end of the day. That's time to go to another lawn. It's a tremendous increase in the profitability of the business. This deck is a profitable item for a contractor put onto his equipment because at the end of the year it could be thousands of dollars of savings that they would have had to expend as far as paying a dump to get rid of their grass. You have time, you have wear and tear on the truck, you've got all these things that have to be figured into your profit structure and it's looking at this here very simple, very compact, very easy for you to see where your savings will be putting on a, a walker mulching deck. So you've got a compact package that you can bag, you can do leaves, you can manicure, and now with the 48 mulching deck, in that hot cutting season, you disconnect, put it on, and you find out you're saving literally thousands of dollars at the end of the year. Hey, thanks very much for watching. We hope this has been valuable for you. We were able to educate you a little bit on the benefits of the Walker lawnmower. If you need to contact us, you would do so. It's the Erdley T. Peterson Company at 908 232-5723.